Right, getting everything ready together together for um, reassembly. I've got the the new uh, bushes uh, in the trunnion end of the lower wishbone. They're all reamed out, uh, five eighths, as shown in a previous video. Um, the the new polyurethane bushes are in there, ready to go. Um, everything is aligned. There's the new trunnion. I, I ended up having to dismantle the whole thing because the trunnion was worn. And I've got the new thrust washers, everything ready. I won't be using the uh, nylon type because I'm using the polyurethane. But I still still have to use all the seals uh, on the end. That's the polyurethane on the lower, I uh, saw the upper wishbone, left and right. Uh, everything ready. Um, new nuts and bolts springs all prepped uh, um, the uh, and the the seals the polyurethane seals for everything um, first thing I'll, I'll be doing is putting the trunnion on the as you know the, the recommendation for the lubrication of the trunnion on, on on this thread is a hypoid oil grease on the obviously on the bearings uh, so but uh, Hypoid oil, and what I'll probably do is put some hypoid into it when I assemble it, and then uh, take it from there. Uh, opportunity to uh, prep and paint the the chassis before I start assembly. Uh, in here, uh, I'm just struggling. Uh, they'll come off though. These are the steel centres, which I don't need with the polyurethane. Uh, bushes, uh, you don't use the steel centre, that, 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 that's got to come off. Uh, a pair of Stilsons, give it a twist. Just a little tip here, when you're putting in the, the, the top uh, bushes uh, the, with the polyurethane and lots of, of silicon, you have to, as you put it on, that will try and pop out. So what I've done, I've put a bar in, jammed it against the front of the car, and just give it a push, wiggle the, uh, the, um, the link up and down and it'll, you can then get the nut on and then pull the, the, the bearing. Here we go with the, the trunnion. Uh, the thread has just started and I, when I took the old one off I counted 15 turns. Um, so that's what I'll put on. 15 turns and push it right up. There's the eccentric stop, as I explained. That's off, off center, and you turn that to give your the amount of lock you want. Uh, that'll have to be adjusted so that both sides are even, and uh, that'll be steering sorted. I've taken the steering rack out. I've refurbished that, um, put all new, uh, re-greased it because there's no wear, and I've put on new gaiters. There we go then, that's the, the bracket that holds the, the uh, calipers. Um, I haven't tightened everything up yet. This, don't forget, you, you do a different lengths, this one and all different lengths. And don't forget, this is the longer one of the two because on the back, the, the nut that comes on the back holds the um, sliding fix for, for the, the back plate that the back plate here when that comes on that will uh, slide onto the, behind the nut and then is nipped up tight. Well, I've got the the bottom uh, bushbone in and uh, remember you've got to put them in both one side at a time so that you can slide it over the trunnion. I've got the the nut in on the top on the just catching on the center bar. Uh, everything is lined I've got the guides in ready for when I've jacked the pan up but I've got to make sure that underneath there that the stud in the corner the hole and the stud is aligned uh, and clicked in otherwise it'll jam up so you've got to make sure that is is right before you do anything else so now that the the pan is is jacked up it must that the the nut in the corner there, which is onto the stud. These are these two are bolts. 
I've got the back one in and a nip top. Uh, the best time to do it is when everything is jacked up. Now it's just a question of I've taken the guides out, just jack up. That's closing up nicely. I can then get the bolts back in at the front of the pan. That's it, all the, the new seat is in place at the top and bottom. And once this comes up, the, the, the threaded bar now is uh, slackened right off. You have to take the bolt off. That's now ready. That bolt is in place on the left hand side. Just a question of that's the final stages. And that's the spring pan back in. Yeah, nicely done. That's it. Uh, just put the bolts in, nip up. That's the spring pan back in, bump stop in. Uh, everything tightened up, ready to go. Now the uh, push the the uh, shock absorber back in and put the plate back in. And noting that this has to come uh, so that it rests on the bump stop. Right, the the trunnions are in, and I've uh, used the you see the the nut there, which is a, a half. Not uh, as supplied by by Rimmer Brothers uh, because of the the length. Uh, you don't get the castellated nut. Uh, I've shimmed it so that uh, obviously it, it's tightened. And don't forget, you, you tighten it up and then back it off. Uh, uh, so sort of one to two flats, so that you've got some end float on there. The top is all in. I've just jacked it up with the scissor, uh, scissor jack so that I can tighten up the central section of the shock absorber. Uh, and then I can put the bump stop in, which I'll, I'll try and get a picture of that in, in a second. Everything else is, is talked up as required. There you go then, that's the, the uh, brake disc back on, the hub back on, calipers all talked up and nice swing on it. The only thing I haven't put back on is the anti-roll bar but I'll do that uh, Do both sides. I've taken it off both sides so that I can repaint it then it can go back on. Yeah just the then the steering steering arm I've got a bit of painting in this under the chassis to do and then I can put the steering back on.